called them wolf hunts in Ohio, in Missouri, in Illinois, wherever we tried to settle. They'd sneak up under the cover of darkness, just to our homes, our crops, and sometimes our people. After Joseph Smith, founder of the Mormon Church, was assassinated, that we headed west, searching for a place that we could live in peace. We suffered cold, hunger, a fever that decimated our ranks. But we pushed forward under the command of our new leader, the prophet Brigham Young. Here, boy. Take my hand. We must find you and your father. They say you are my father, the father of us all. No, God is the father of us all. I'll find a man to be your father, to provide for you. Brother Hickman. This is your new son. Miles Utley, raise him as you would your own. And with that, I also gained a sister. As Moses brought Israel through the wilderness, so God delivered us to a good land. This is the place. Behold the new Canaan, where the Lord's people shall dwell. This is the land he swore to our fathers, where none shall come to do harm, nor make any afraid. But others did come to do harm and make afraid. After we'd made peace with the Indians, after we'd built canals and brought fresh water into the valley, turning the desert into our promised land. In 1857, President Buchanan sent the army to take charge of Salt Lake City. This time, we would not be moved. We kept them at bay for more than a year few hundred Mormon militiamen holding off 5,000 federal troops. I was raised to be part of that militia, trained by our two best warriors, Porter Rockwell. Go ahead. Squeeze one off and my adopted father, Bill Hickman. Finally, with the Civil War approaching, Washington called off its campaign against the Saints. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Nevertheless, a handful of us remained on guard, working in the shadows to protect the Mormon church. We called ourselves the Danites, but our brethren had another name for us, the Avenging Angels. But as time passed, the church began to deny our existence, regarding us as an embarrassing link to a violent past. Still, my mission continued. It's just a damn shame, that's all. Go chasing after California gold when there's plenty right here under our feet. Yep. Almighty Brigham Young doesn't allow mining in his territory. You know that. So now we gotta go dragging our bones another 600 miles, getting shot at by engines every step of the way. 
There's things in this world worse than engines. That true, Parker? Stories you hear about Brigham's boys? Coffee's almost gone. Well then, get some more water. Where do you expect us to fetch it for you? Be sacrificing the kingdom of God on earth. Prepare yourself for paradise. Again, security's tight at the compound. They're seeing assassins everywhere. Enemies <laughs> in the woodwork. Well, there's one less your father will have to worry about. You know, word is there's two coming in tomorrow from the east. I know. I know. Um. Miranda. Mm -hmm. Now we have to be careful. If your father ever found huh? out.
Vigilance. That is the word of the hour. Twenty-seven years ago, we began the long and arduous journey here to our home. Amen. Our first year in this valley, we survived on tree bark and thistle tops. And when clouds of locusts descended upon our crops, God sent his heavenly gulls to devour them. And through his love, through our sacrifice, we made this desert bloom. And now others want to share in the fruits of our labor, partake of the blessings that God has bestowed upon us, carpetbaggers, merchants, traders, miners. The railroad brings more of them every day. Gentiles from the east, who ask that we work together, prosper together. And to these voices of Babylon, we must say no, yeah. no. no. Our beloved prophet, President Young, has decreed that we remain clean and pure at constant risk to his own life. Brother Brigham has stood up to these outside forces, and we must stand with him. Amen. Yet, even as I speak, there are traitors in our ranks. What? Dissidents who dare challenge the sacred will of our Lord and our living prophet. No. No. Better that their blood be shed upon the ground than that they face the Lord with such unpardonable sins. Vigilance! Elder Rigby is right. We must be vigilant. We must stay pure. But with our hearts free of hate, avoiding bloodshed whenever possible, we must never forget the words of our martyred founder, Joseph Smith. I love you all, he said. My voice is always for peace. I never think any evil, nor do harm to any man. God bless Brother Brigham. Bless hooray, hooray. God bless Brother Brigham. God bless Brother Brigham. you can tell me just what the hell you thought you were doing today. Saving President Young's life. From whom, exactly? That's what I want to know. Well, it's going to be pretty difficult finding that out. 
A 44 caliber ball makes a pretty big mess when it strikes someone between the eyes. Brother Long, I had no choice on that. He was about to fire. With what? A Derringer. Nickel plated over and under Derringer. My people went over every inch of the church assembly hall. There was no Derringer, nor any other kind of weapon. Well, what about those other two, the ones you had me following? Lost in the confusion. There's not a trace of either one. It means they're still out there. I gotta find them. No, no, you're gonna leave Salt Lake. Just go hide out in the hills until I can sort out this whole fiasco. I'm not hiding anywhere. Let me apprise you of your situation, Brother Rutley. Half the apostles want you behind bars. Ben Rigby wants your head on a platter. We are trying to convince the outside world that despite our polygamous views, we're not a cult of barbarians. And it does not help our cause to have you blasting away at imaginary assassins while the prophet is preaching nonviolence. Look, Miles, this is a delicate time for us. It is a transitional time. Utah has an opportunity for statehood. With Utah as a state, with Brigham as governor, we could control our own destiny. And the key to that is keeping Brigham alive. As head of security, that ought to be first on your agenda. I agree, but we cannot afford a vigilante action now. Miles, I'm under a lot of pressure. You must help me, please. There's two assassins on the loose. I'm going after them. Brother Utley, in the eyes of the church, you are skating on very thin ice. And it is not to your benefit that you're betting the prophet's daughter. Heard you'd be looking for us, thought we'd save you the trouble. Whoever did this to you didn't expect you to live. Easterners, probably, didn't know a body won't sink in the Great Salt Lake. Who are you? Eliza Rigby. Elder Rigby's wife? One of them, yes. I'm, uh... I know who you are, Brother Utley. Does he know I'm here? My husband and I don't have occasion to speak very often. I live here alone with my two daughters. No one knows you're here, so you're safe from who's ever after you. You're welcome to stay a few days until your wounds have healed. Heavenly Father, bless these gifts of thy bounty that have been placed here before us. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. Brother Utley, the work you do for the church, do you get paid for that? My security work? I'm, I receive a small stipend and a piece of land that I raise horses on, although I'm not very good at it, I don't have much time. Actually, I was referring to your career as a Danite. The Danites are an old church myth. I wonder if that brings comfort to a man who finds himself facing the point of your gun to know that you're just an old church myth.
I've been told that back east, Joseph Smith had an entire army of the brethren who would gladly have given up their lives for him. But he refused to use force, and for that he was slaughtered. I do not intend for the same thing to happen to President Young. He is a prophet, a living word of God, and I have taken it as my personal responsibility to keep that word alive. I will use any means to do so. And no, ma'am, I do not do that for money. Air and sunshine to help you heal. Mm -hmm. Eliza, mm. there's no bruise there. Sorry. Benjamin's wife, I, I can't break my vows. Besides, it's my understanding that you prefer much younger women. Huh. Is there anybody in Salt Lake who doesn't know about that? She was getting friendly with someone she shouldn't have. A young cavalry lieutenant over at Fort Douglas. So, I was sent to have a conversation with the boy. You know discourage any further romantic notions. Well, that part was easy. And then, Miranda turned her attentions to me. Oh. <laughs> and what about you? A married woman living 10 miles apart from her husband? You didn't take to being a plural wife? No, it, it was fine at first. When I was the newest and the youngest and the prettiest. A powerful figure like Ben Rigby would dazzle a young girl's eye. But Sarah's the one he truly loved, my sister. One of Joseph Smith's wives from the old days back in Illinois. She was his pride. She was Smart, beautiful, full of fire. But no man could hold her after Joseph. She left Ben, she married Brigham. Left him after a few years, moved back east. I suspect that's why Ben married me. Trying to replace Sarah. It didn't work, though. He got angry and bitter. Taking it out on me. Finally, I asked for my own place, and he didn't object. She's 
she's using you, you know. Miranda, rebellious, high-spirited young girl, getting back at Daddy, dallying with the forbidden Danite. Maybe. Maybe I'm using her. For what? Get closer to her father. Closer to the prophet. It's the only gun I have. It's for rattlesnakes and such. He'll do fine. You're best off with the paint. He's a knothead, but he'll go all day. That's just what I need. Thanks. That's Brigham's son, Alfie's. What's he doing with your husband? He and Ben have been meeting here every couple of weeks. Lots of whispered talk. They don't let me hear much. Wait here. They don't usually stay more than a couple of hours. Wants to be alone with her. Oh, sure. He was here, wasn't he? He's gone. How long ago? About four hours. Daddy has a temper. Where did he go? Ah. Answer me. Where did he go? Please, please don't. It'll only make it worse. And he'll be gone soon. Please. My desire is for thy husband! Thy husband! Rachel, Annie, go fetch some wood for the stove, please. Okay, Mama. He saw the sheets and the blood. I had to tell him that you'd been here. That son of a bitch. Don't. Don't go after him. He, he thinks you're wandering around like some wounded bear, dangerous and, and out of control. He wants you tracked down and locked away. Something is going on, Miles. Something has them spooked. That's exactly what I have to find out. Liza? You tell Ben that the next time he lays a hand on you, husband or not, I'm going to come riding down on him like the wrath of God.
what else are they saying? Well, Ben Rigby's telling everyone you're a loose cannon, bringing damnation down on the church. The others don't know what to think. Nobody's seen you. Nobody's heard from you. And your father, what does he think? In his heart, he, he believes you're still true. But what with that shooting in the assembly hall and everybody whispering conspiracy in his ears, talking about traitors in the ranks? Oh, oh it's scary, Miles. from the box. Is that what your meeting with Rigby was about? Robbing graves? What are you gonna do, Ledley? Shoot me? Shoot the Prophet's son? He's not upset enough with you for diddling his daughter? Step on over there. Give me some room, Alphys. Go on. Raise that lantern. It's the assassin from the assembly hall. You know who it is, don't you? That's why you're moving him. Trying to keep anybody else from finding out? Sweet Jesus. Miles, set the gun down, son. Porter, don't turn around. I might not be able to beat you off the draw anymore, but I can damn sure squeeze one off before you swing around. Put the gun down, Alpheus. Put it down, now! Well, the grave's already dug. Let's just drop him in and be done with the whole mess. You fire, and you'll be in there right after him. You boys put that box on the wagon. Alpheus, give him a hand. Porter. Who was it I killed? told to stay out of this. I'm right out of town. I got a right to know. You are a soldier. Soldiers follow orders. I still got a right to know at least that. Now, who was it I killed? You're better off not knowing. Now, do as Milt Long said. Lay low. Because the higher-ups handle this. She's loaded up. Let's get out of here. Pack your bags. I want you off my ranch by nightfall.
Father Otley. Didn't think gunmen like you had much interest in the printed word. Unless you're here to burn the place down. Just need some answers, Brother Pike. This is about last week. The shooting in the assembly? Mm-hmm. Why come to me? Being a newspaper man, you know what's going on around here. Being a dissident, you're just reckless enough to talk about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Who stands to gain the most if President Young dies? We don't want Brigham dead. That'd be disastrous for a church, Miles. Whatever else Brother Young is, he is the backbone of the saints. And if he were to die... Nah, we don't want him gone. We just take issue with some of his positions. Is that why you slit Jonathan Parker's throat? Because he disagreed with Brigham? Parker was in league with the miners. He was trying to get them digging rights. Jonathan Parker was a church historian. Well, that's where I found him, traveling in the company of prospectors. Trying to get out of Utah. Across the Rockies, he was no more a trail man than I am. He couldn't get over those mountains by himself. Why was he running? My guess is he had more information than was good for him. More than likely, he was running for his life. Running from the likes of you. There was a time when you Danites were a necessary evil. You protected the church from men even more ruthless than yourselves. But over the years, you changed from a defensive force to a preemptive one. That's what you've become, Miles. A man who murders in the name of peace. <laughs> All right, Atlee, keep your hands where I can see him. Stay right there. Steady, boys. Cuff him, Frank. Brother Pike. Now, did you have a nice little buggy ride this morning? Is that what all this firepower is about, Elder Rigby? Me taking your buggy? Well, if it upsets you that much, why don't you just step over here and slap me around? Your days of running roughshod are over. Zeke, you arrest this man for murder. Who's murder, Ben? Who is it you're saying I murdered? Is that going to come out in court? You going to come up with a body? <laughs> Lock him up. Horse theft. Got some visitors. Miranda. Liza. Um. Will it require some privacy now? No, ma'am, no. I'm sorry. I cannot leave you alone with this prisoner. Sheriff Randall, my father has asked me to convey a personal message to Brother Utley. Shall I go back and inform him that you prevented me from delivering it? Uh, five minutes. Thank you. And that's all. Thanks, Zeke. What? What message? I'm not even sure he knows you're here. There's new people coming in every day to protect Daddy, they say. Faces I've never seen before moving into the compound. I don't know what they're up to. You gotta get me out of here. I don't care what it takes. Um, Tom Crawley at the exchange said it's the best they have. It's a 44th Smith & Wesson, apparently sturdier than the Colt kind that Jesse James used. Better than a rusty old shotgun, I think.
Thank you. Well, I'd best leave you two alone now. Be careful, Miles. Goodbye, Sister Young. Brother Utley. Ben Rigby has you locked up, and Eliza Rigby slips you a gun? Oh, uh... I think they're having marital troubles. <laughs> they're gonna try and kill my father, Miles. Somebody is, sometime soon. I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to him. The only thing worse would be if something were to happen to you. Time is up, Sister Young. Zig, how about some supper? Zekio. Thank you, Ezekiel. I'll let myself out when I'm through. Yes, sir. See? I told you to stay out of town. What good are you doing in here? I'm not used to this kind of obstinance from you, Miles. Even when I am wrong. It's a new model. Police, 36 caliber. You may find it a little light at first, but uh, you'll get used to it. <laughs> I want you to do your job. Track down those other two assassins, the ones from the east. Try and find out who hired them. Okay. There's a horse tethered for you out front, the strongest one I could find. Ride to the point of the mountain outpost. Porter Rockwell will meet you there, supply you with anything you may need. Uh, run along. Um... The assassin in the assembly hall. The woman I killed. Who was she? Everything will be revealed to you on your rendezvous with Porter. Uh, do me the courtesy of waiting an hour or so before you make your escape. And uh, don't worry about Ezekiel. He'll be home in bed by then. Thank you. Did you hear about Andrew Pike? No. What? Shot outside the newspaper office. On his way home from one of his new society meetings, chances are he won't see morning. Shot? I was just with him. Who'd want him killed? Did anything unusual pass between you? Anything you may have divulged to him? Oh, no. Mm -mm. <sighs> These are perilous times, Miles. Perilous times. Go with God.
Come on. Let's get out of here. Good night. <clears throat> Whiskey. Good evening, Brother Utley. Buy a drink? I'm looking for Porter Rockwell. Oh, oh, well. He was here, but he left. Headed south toward the Escalante. Like you should have done. So I guess you're on your own now, Danite. No more Uncle Porter to protect you this time. You know, Alpheus, the problem with polygamy is when you have 27 wives and 56 children, one of them is just bound to turn out as dirt stupid and pig ugly as you. That's what's behind all these escapades with my sister, isn't it? Trying to get into the family, that's what you'd really like, isn't it, Miles, huh? To be Brigham's son. Well, that ain't ever gonna happen. I'm his son. I am. And what that means to you is I'm bulletproof. the hour of my need. Lend me thy hand. Guide me on my path. Please let me feel thy strength and be the instrument of thy righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Good to see you, Miles. Whoa, hello, Will. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. No. One more. Now, now, Miles. Uh, you let your sister fuss over you. Uh, it's been what? Three years since we seen you last? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Uh, Hey, Uncle Miles, we heard you was dead, burnt to a cinder. <laughs> uh, you heard about that already? Yeah. <laughs> the Mormon scouts passing through. They said you disappeared. Almost died in the fire. Mm. You heard anything else? Well, word is that Brigham and his people are going to be heading out of Salt Lake. When? To where? Any day now, to his house in St. George. He goes there every year. Well, not this early, he doesn't. I gotta get a hold of Porter. If all this trouble's in Salt Lake, why are you chasing after Porter? Porter knows who the assassin was, and... <clears throat> um, um, you know, in the assembly hall. And, uh, I don't know if I can trust anyone else. Well, what makes you so sure he wasn't part of it himself? Porter Rockwell? <laughs> if Porter wanted Brigham dead, he'd be in the ground now. <clears throat> Joshua, finish your vegetables. Uh, Alfie said, uh, <clears throat> Alfie said he was going south towards the Escalante. Uh, Will, I'm gonna need some supplies. Anything you want. Thank you. So, I guess that means I'll be leaving early in the morning tomorrow. Do you have to go? I'm sorry, Precious, but I do. You sure you can't stay over one more day? No. I have to get going. I've got to get down to the southern settlements, Fort Kanab. If Porter gets into that Escalante, I'm telling you, it's a maze. I'll never find him. Fort Kanab. That's where Papa is, you know. You know, as much as that man did for me, I've never been able to call him that. From what I hear, he's drinking pretty hard. Still bitter about Brigham. He was never very sweet-tempered to begin with, was he? No. <laughs> <laughs> you and Will have done good here. You have a good life. I'm very happy for you. Thanks. A lot of work here for a blacksmith, all these settlers coming through. You ever think about that? Raising a family, settling down? Mm-hmm. With any woman in particular? Mm-hmm. So? Doing my kind of work? What kind of life is that for a woman? Never knowing when I'm gonna leave. Never knowing if I'll be coming back. Miles, until you marry and have children, your soul will wander, and you'll never enter the celestial kingdom. I know, Rebecca, I know. I just think it's a pity, that's all. You spend your whole life protecting the church, helping to build the dream. You don't get to share in it. Well, maybe it's for those kids in there. Come on, sister.
Promise me you'll take care of yourself. Please. I will, I will. I promise next time I'll pay a proper visit. Sunday picnic. Maybe we'll bring out the churn, have some ice cream. Next time you come from Salt Lake, will you bring me back some taffy? Me too. <laughs> Get side on in the barn now! I'm trying to save your father's life. To hell with my father, almighty Brigham. I'm gonna bring him your head, his darling angel. I'm gonna bring him your head on a pike. No, just don't. Brigham's son. Nobody has to know. We can bury him somewhere. No. I don't want you and Rebecca getting involved in this. Try to explain for me, Will. It doesn't matter what I explain. He's gonna come after you, Miles. Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for Bill Hickman. He might be in the men's dormitory. It's over there. Thank you. Miles Utley. Yes. I'm Hannah Marie Parker, the widow of Jonathan Parker, the man whose throat you cut. I want you to know that my sons and I spend 10 minutes every morning and 10 minutes every night praying to God that you burn in hell. When we grow up, me and my brother, we're gonna kill you, Miles Utley.
Threatening to turn all the Western tribes against us until I tracked him down and shot him through the heart. Then there was a, a lawyer from Oregon spreading counterfeit money. Then a trader up on the Green River spying for the army. Then a horse thief whose name I can't seem to recall. Blood atonement. That made it easy. <laughs> Save a wicked man's soul by spilling his blood. Raise your own self up in the process. Salvation for the victim. Exultation for the slayer. Good deal for both parties. And now you tell me someone's trying to eliminate Brother Brigham. Well, I say fine. Fine. Let his blood be shed for a change. Let his blood be a smoking incense to God. That's blasphemy. I'll tell you what blasphemous is. Turning your back on those who risk their lives for you, risk their souls for you. Three times. Three times the elders disfellowshipped you, and three times Brigham took you back. You went too far, stealing for your own gain, raiding army stock after the peace was made. I earned that. Those years fighting in the mountains, my crops rotting in the field. Killing for your own anger? Who? Gentiles, vermin. And for that, I was banished to here, to the farthest outpost, my, my family scattered, my property seized. Nothing left in this world but a blanket and a cot. Well, it's a bed you made yourself. You're here because there's nowhere else for you to go. Trying to lay your murders at the feet of Brigham, trying to make him pay for your crimes. The prophet never abandoned you, you abandoned him. He's not a prophet. He's not the voice of God, he's just a man. That's all he is. A man who's ready to let you die if it serves his purpose. You're gonna break your neck trying to save him, you fool, you blind, self-righteous fool. I'm not just trying to save Brigham, I'm trying to save the church. The church. You'll do anything for the church, won't you, Miles? Even kill your own father. <sighs> Look what I've done to you, Miles. Look what I've turned you into. After you. Half dozen riders. Daddy got word about Alpheus and he dispatched the men by telegraph. They're supposed to cut you off and bring you down. Hey, did you ride here all the way from Salt Lake? Cedar City. Traveling with Daddy to St. George. Milton Long figures they can protect him better there. Is Ben Rigby with them? No, no, they left him in Salt Lake. Miles, they know you're going after Porter. I'm going with you. Oh, no, you're not. I'm the only protection you've got. As long as I'm with you, then Miranda, I am not taking a chance on you getting hurt, and that's final. I'm not asking for your permission. I'm going. It's my father they're trying to kill. All right, get a fresh horse. Stable's over there. This was my husband's journal. Take it. In there, you'll find why he was running from Salt Lake. I ask you to learn about the man that you killed, Mr. Utley. Know his thoughts. And then pray to God to forgive you, because I never will.
for hours. And you haven't said a word about me shooting Alpheus. He was your brother. Half-brother. He hated you. From the bottom of his gut, he hated you. He felt Daddy regarded you more of a son than him. Brigham thought of me as his son? Well, I know it didn't always seem like that at times. Having to sneak off to see me and... I'm good enough to protect him, but I'm not good enough to keep company with his daughter. It wasn't your keeping company with me that Daddy minded. What galled him was knowing that you didn't love me. Is that what you believe? Well, I used to think you did. Or that I could get you to. Until I saw the way you looked at Eliza Rigby. Three busted up men, four good horses, and this very precious cargo among you. It's gonna take all you got just to make it back to Fort Canab. Any of you got any notion about doubling back and coming after me? Well, I'm not gonna have time to do anything except shoot you on the spot. Come on, get over there. intact. That bullet just went clean through me. <laughs> Too much, he'll be up and dancing. But not with you. No. Be careful, Miles. Daddy's counting on you, even if he doesn't know it. You all know this lady is President Brigham's daughter. But I don't want you to be concerned about that. What I want you to be concerned about is me. Now get moving.
got you, you old dog. in circles down there so long, I was starting to get dizzy. Hell, I thought I taught you better than that. I guess I just wasn't paying attention that day. Not just yet. Just unbuckle your gun belt. Damn it, Porter! You just let me go! Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Do it. There, are you happy now? Kind of pleasant, ain't it? I like to come down here to Escalante. Wear my head out. You come running all the way out here. Save your life, Miles. Save my life? From who? From me. Yeah, that's why I came out here. So nobody could give me the order. I kept snooping around, wouldn't let up. The only way to stop you was to kill you, and the only one that could kill you was me. Maybe. Well, it wouldn't have been easy. It was like a little whiskey brightening your coffee up. No. Well, then. Well, you don't have to run anymore. I know about Rigby and Alpheus. About their plans to kill Brigham, take over the church. <laughs> Just how dizzy did that make you walking in those circles down there? The proof is in my saddlebags. It's all in Jonathan Parker's journal. Their scheme to get rid of Brigham. Ben Rigby would move up to head of the flock. They tried to bring in Jonathan Parker to get the support of the dissidents, but he wouldn't go along with that. He refused. So I track down that good man, and I cut his throat, and I leave a widow and two children destitute. Jonathan Parker. Who was she? The assassin in Assembly Hall, the woman I shot. Who was she, Porter? Who was she? Sarah Young, one of Brigham's wives, one to left and went back east. Liza Rigby's sister? The one who'd been married to Ben? And Joseph Smith before that. But why? Why bring her in to pull the trigger? Probably because she's the only one that had the spine to do it. Now, I know back in Illinois, when she was married to Joseph. Young, feisty, strong, loved to be near power. Rumor has it that's why she married Rigby after Joseph was killed. Thinking, like Rigby did, that uh, he was next in line for the presidency. The next prophet. But when that didn't happen, she left Rigby for Brigham. But Brigham wasn't about to share his power. He wasn't about to let her be queen. <laughs> Though she left him, went back east. Alpheus was willing to let them murder his father, his own flesh and blood? Sarah was Alpheus' mother. Evidently, his uh, affections were with her. You were with him, with Alpheus at the cemetery. Well, they told me to give him a hand to get rid of Sarah's body. Said she was just a plural wife gone crazy with jealousy. And with all this fuss about polygamy. 
church couldn't afford another scandal, especially with Washington snooping around. What else? That's it. That's all I know. What else, Porter? <laughs> you can't shoot me, Miles. I wouldn't be so sure about that. No, I don't mean you wouldn't. I mean you can't, not with that gun anyway. Barrel's plugged. This ain't time for one of your old Danite tricks. Well, have a look for yourself. Or pull the trigger and blow your damn hand off. Oh. Where'd you get that weapon, anyway? Milton Long. And who was it that suggested you muse up Jonathan Parker? Milton Long. Milton Long. Damn. He's in on this with him. Brigham's own head of security. That's why he's taking Brigham to St. George. He's gonna kill him, Porter. I already lost me. One holy man who was under my care. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose another. Assassins, who are they on the lookout for? Probably you. Me? Yeah, well, Milton Long's never been one to take any chances. These are all good men, loyal Mormons. Probably even told you've gone rogue. That rules out a frontal assault. I ain't looking to kill any saints. Not to mention there's only two of us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the two from the assembly hall. The ones Milt Long had me follow. I most likely hired him himself. Used him as decoys. Keep you from noticing, Sarah. Brigham's in his office. What are they waiting for? Let's find out. I'm gonna have to get inside. Yeah. You're gonna have to draw off the guards. You mean get myself shot at? Huh? Well, come on, Porter. You know, the Son of Thunder and all that. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak like any other man. Book of Judges 16, verse 17. Is that where that came from? You know, Joe Smith told me that a long time ago. He says, uh, don't cut your hair, and you'll be uh, invincible. Like Samson, you know. Well, he ain't been wrong yet. Porter.
afraid you boys are a little confused about what's going on here. So, uh, just holster them guns and I'll explain it to you. It's you. Put your gun on the desk. And that knife. I knew you'd come. You're the one I've been waiting for. It's easy enough to assassinate a powerful man. The real trick, the art of it is finding someone else to put the blame on. When Sarah failed, and when you survived our little ambush, well, I realized. If we can't extinguish you, we might as well use you. The fallen angel, the forbidden lover of Brigham's daughter, the murderer of his son, you were unnatural for the part. Was Brother Parker a natural? in your conspiracy. I'm planning some changes for the church when Brother Rigby is in place. Free trade, private ownership, mining. Changes that make you a wealthy man. Yes, I believe they will. I was hoping that Jonathan, as theologian, church historian, could be persuaded to bend some doctrine to help justify our new direction. I felt that as a dissident, he jumped at the opportunity to help replace Brigham. Unfortunately, I was mistaken. So you eliminated him? No. You eliminated him. But then you always were my most obedient operative. Well, let's go visit the Prophet. Brother Brigham, everything's all right. May we come in? Yes, come in. Look what I brought you. The prodigal. The man who gunned down Sarah. Who murdered your son. Oh, Miles. Miles, the anguish you caused. The pain. Brother Prigham. But still, uh, I forgive you, Miles. I embrace you with open arms. How did you know? After 
after all this happened, why else would you come back to me? My son. I'm sorry about Brother Parker. We had our differences, but he was an honest man. A good man. He deserved no harm. That's why I chose this harsh, empty land to avoid such bloodshed, to build a city, the new Zion, where our people could live in peace and security, and through their struggle come to know the grace and purity of God and the goodness and generosity that lives in every man. That's the dream I fought for. I'll always fight for you. But from now on, from here, not with a gun. Here, boy, take my hand. Be careful rounding up Rigby. And do give my love to Eliza. <laughs> of the Spirit, I have received manifestations pointing to the position that I am about to assume. I am here in obedience to a power that's not my own. I shall be dictated only by that power. No, Ben. No, you won't. It's all over. If that nation Milton Long is dead. Which I have pronounced against. Alpheus is dead. Shall turn away from evil. I will withhold the evil that I thought to do unto them. Go ye out of He's known for a few days now that the coup failed, that you were coming for him. While the wicked are consumed like stubble. Please, Miles, don't hurt him. He's not well. I'm finished with that life. They shall come streaming down from the heavens, from the heavens to the... I just have one last thing to do. Wherefore, let the decree go forth. Ben. Be prepared against the day. Come on, Ben. Let's go. When desolation shall descend upon the wicked. Ben. Ow! No! I'm sending you to hell! No, Miles, don't! I'm all right. Don't kill him. Please. Don't kill him. After all he's done, after all the death and deceit, you're trying to save his soul! No, I'm trying to save your soul! Please, Miles, for us. Oh, 